stuff has changed now because of social media. Okay. So now people are doing old schools like two hundred fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, like Rick Ross, shout out to Rick Ross. Yeah, shout out Rick Ross. Right. Yeah, they build an old school quarter million dollar old schools. He'll say it in the song, but he really spends a quarter million dollars on the old school yeah. every summer. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk that. You yeah. know, they be having the wrecks, but they have all of the cages and oh, everything yeah. to protect themselves. Yeah. And when I see your cars, and I'm like, those look too nice to race. Like, who yeah. who would want to risk getting it scratched? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Much less wrecked out. They got that money. Don't even trip. That's a lot of money. They, to them yeah. they got that bread. This is what we doing. <laughs> you know, this is a man thing. That's why j- you got to just step back and let us do our thing. <laughs> so, What's the most prized car that you have in possession? Like, well, yeah, the most you spent on a car building it. Oh, with a Z06? Well, that, that car, I done spent money over... Like how much? Seven, eight years, maybe. I how much know. you think you spent? You don't even want to try to even guess. I don't it. even know. I ain't telling a lie. You know what I'm saying? I, I know the motors in these cars thirty, forty thousand. That's what I was going. Yeah, you know what I mean. The engines, the the wheels, six, seven thousand. Transmissions, ten, fifteen thousand. So. One thing we always debate on because I love old school cars, right? Oh, you debate because huh? he got me. He got me into. It, but we always talk about because I see a lot of people buy them and trick them out. Yep. But we always say it takes away the value of your car whenever mm-hmm. you trick them out. So, like, why do people do that when it's not going to be worth You put ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 in there doing all this other stuff and not mm-hmm. keeping it original, but it's not making the value go up. Oh, yeah, it is now. It so, is, yeah, it's so a different. Like, yeah, so, like, now, by me traveling around the United States and doing stuff just like mm-hmm. I'm doing today, is the value has grown tremendously. Okay. Plus, so, like, like a regular clean old school you can get for about thirty grand. You probably could have bought that same one ten thousand dollars Me and him talked about that at the previous yeah. show. Yeah, so, like, it's... All the stuff has changed now because of social media. Okay. So now people are doing old schools like two hundred fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, like Rick Ross, shout out to Rick Ross. Yeah, shout out Rick Ross. Right. Yeah, they build an old schools quarter million dollar old schools. He'll say it in the song, but he really spends a quarter million dollars on the old school yeah. every summer. Old schools you got in total? Shit, maybe forty. Forty? Damn. What made you go crazy like that with the old schools? I don't even think it's going crazy. I want a hundred. You want to hunt it? You might do three or four of them just because he feel like he it. He like doing them. Yeah, but they, and then you and can actually. And it holds the value. Yeah, because you now we're connected with Barry Jackson and Meekum Auto Auction, and they understand the value. So okay. at the beginning, they never really they never, appraised these right. cars. But now we can get insurance on them now and all that stuff, thank you to the uh, exposure of social media, to where you can actually get a quarter million dollars for old school and get it insured also. Okay, I was always wondering, because I see people do that, and yeah. I'm like, you wasting your money. Why are you doing all-? And they'll just tell me, because we love doing what we do. Yeah. They don't care if the value goes up or not. They just uh, love to have a, a unique, clean car. Yeah, but it has to be done by a reputable shop. You can't just okay. go to... Tom Jerry down the corner yeah. and spent 10 bands like nah right. it gotta be documented and okay. be done by a reputable shop yeah, also, yeah, yeah yeah, you guys man like I said what's the craziest uh, car that you found on the best deal oh shoot yeah, I, done, yeah. I done found I done found a convertible like a dunk like I got right yeah. now mm-hmm. I done bought one of those for about $3,000 that's and, good and right now they 20, 20 30 grand yeah, 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 and, that and you did that like recently. And what yeah, kind yeah. was that? A seventy-one Impala. Seventy-one. Yeah, wow. I found one about three thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a damn good See, deal. I be oh, seeing, yeah. The one thing I always say, I always tell myself, because I'm looking for a Chevy. I I want to I want a drop top because uh-huh. he have one. He yeah. have a Malibu, so I want a drop top so uh-huh. we can ride side by side. Oh yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. That's right. understandable. Yeah. So, but I want to restore mine. I I don't want to buy it already fixed. Uh-huh. I want to I want to fix it up because yeah. I saw him do it. Uh huh. And I tell him, I said, we need to ride through the country because you can't find that in the no, city. No, 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 you no, got to no. go to the country. Somebody yeah. don't know what they have. One mm-hmm. of old cars out in the field somewhere. Yeah. We're like, oh, that's it. Tell them about it. the one you found. It, it was how much? The one you, last the night The one I you showed online? me on the phone. Was it 120000 That was 20000 but it was out of, oh, I think it was Ohio. Like, like I be looking at the rust because I know yeah, rust yeah, in certain places. Yeah. So don't uh, mention that. It. It's nah. rust. So like where y'all at? Texas, Nevada. Uh, you know what I mean? Somewhere up in there. Anywhere that's you a little and bit see. farther. Yeah, from mm-hmm. the oyster, the moisture. You don't want that. That's right. So you know what I mean? You don't want a lot of cars that been painted a lot of time neither. Mm-hmm. But I do. A, I talk about a lot of that. But you can give me a call and we can put something. Yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah, because I be, I be looking online because you have all these Facebook pages you can go on now and find them. Don't get got. Don't get got. Me and Lil Kiki talked about. 
about that the other yeah, week. He yeah. got he said he paid how much? Almost it seemed like an astronomical number that he told me. Mm. It might have been three hundred thousand or two hundred for an old school. He yeah. never got. <laughs> now, these <laughs> niggas will get you. Oh yeah, nah, look, Kiki. Wanna... Shout out to look Kiki. He showed yeah. enough told me that. I said, nigga, you, I I got to see mine. Yeah. Nigga, I'm coming to see you. <laughs> yeah, it don't cost do. but a ticket, nigga, to drive. Yeah. I fly up there. That's how you do. That's how you do. I had a convention and it wasn't the one I met you at uh-huh. after that it was some kind of car convention I seen you uh, PRI what was so, that all so about so that's the performance racing industry so that's the business side of racing okay so actually with, with uh, PRI is where all the different uh, shops well not the shops the manufacturers go so like Moza Cali's Nitrous Outlet all the different ones that that build the actual products that go on the race cars, that's for them. So it's a trade show just to get knowledge and stuff like that. So it's just like how the magic show where you can go to the yeah, manufacturer yeah. and talk to everybody. Pure, I just on the racing side. So they had me doing some talking and explaining to people what actually big wheel racing is and how far what is coming and, and the kind of crowd that I bring. So another thing what I do is racetracks. So like you'll see tomorrow, uh, we probably have five to 8,000 people at, at a racetrack and they don't really, a lot of people don't get that many people. Yeah. So the president of PRI, shout out to Dr. Jamie Meyer, so he was like, come to the convention and explain to people how you get these people there, how to market, how to do this with these different brands to a different demographic. So you know what I mean? So that's what that's what my specialty is. And I'm a, I'm a, I work with a PRI, I'm a brand ambassador for them, I marketed a lot of stuff for them mm-hmm. to our demographic of people. So they understand it's just more than going to buy a race car part that you can actually Get sponsored by these people. You can learn more about it, and you can ask more questions than what they, you know, what I mean, what they normally used so to. Did you- yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.